Welcome to the channel, everybody. This video will be the end of summer, beginning of fall mashup. Hauke sent me a pretty cool e-bike. More on that later in this video. But yeah, this is everything I have been up to in the last few weeks. I hope you guys enjoy this style of video. Don't forget to check me out on Kick. Click the link in the description. Follow me on Kick. Check this out. I got the Kick stream going right here. As you can see, we are doing a kick stream at the shop. So click the link in the description. Follow me on kick if this is something you're into. I am actually on kick right now as well. As you can see, I am streaming me filming this video. I don't know who that was. Did someone just say it sounded like it? <laughs> I think someone just said Finally going on a little group cruise today. We'll see how I'm feeling. Are we dropping the top finally? I don't know. Maybe we'll get some rollers. Not sure. Nice little party at AJ's yesterday. But, yep, familiar sight at the pump, dude. All right, the top is down. We are on a cruise, dude. We are on the first cruise in the vert, top down, baby. This shit is sick, dude. The verts, dude, favorite body style to ever exist. I don't even need the hat right now. It's like a super good temperature right now. We're with Jazzy, Kyle, Trevor. We got all the boys out here, dude. Tea towel, baby. Dude, this is purely coincidence. We're on a cruise. I thought Ruddy was taking the day off and we're bumping into him at the gas station purely by luck here. Here, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna camp the front door until he comes outside. There he is, dude. Look at this guy on the banana. Monster in hand. This could be one of the last nice weeks in a while. If there's anything to be learned here, get yourself a cheap convertible. Go on as many cruises with the boys as possible. Well, we made it to the first destination on this cruise. Absolutely beautiful day today. Can't even deny it. The vert, dude, looking extra crispy out here. Definitely a good day, everybody. Like I said, I encourage you. I paid 1400 bucks for this thing. Look at this. Oh, absolutely beautiful today. Look at that. Super scenic looking though. Yeah. All right, on to leg two of the cruise. Not really sure where we're going, but we're definitely enjoying a beautiful day out here. It is just absolutely wonderful. Like look at the scenery, the cars, the friends, dude. Even just the people hanging out around in the picnic areas, dude. It don't get better than this, boys, I'm telling you. Well, we're stuck behind a four-wheel wide tractor. Look, he can't even fit over the edge. Oh, Jazzy, is he gonna do it? Oh, man, yeah, this tractor is huge, dude. Look at the size of this unit. It's like wider than the lane. Some brand new pavement out here, dude. This is nice. Yeah, but that's oh. 
All right, uh, Trevor just called me. He's got his dogs out. He has a German Shepherd and a Husky, and I'm meeting up with Chris. I'm taking the Vino. He's gonna meet on the Vespa, and we are gonna go grounding for a little bit. So yeah, beautiful day today. I'll keep you guys posted. Should be awesome. Dude, Matt just got the fresh chicken yeah. from the deli, like mm. custom cut. And I like that I don't have to trim it at all. Yeah, it looks nice, dude. Oh man, don't let that fall on the floor, you savage. Mm. God damn. Oh. Nice. Looks good. Smells fantastic. That's a big piece of chicken. Yeah. No, that smells That's nice. Huge. You know, chef it up. Filling up the truck before the clean culture Palmer event. Let's see, what did it just click out? 106, 29 gallons, not bad. Let's get a nice little shot of this setup here. I'm driving the Jenny, Chris in the Z, Matt in the TI. I'm sure y'all will have seen the Ricer Miata video before I post this one. But like I said in the last video, we're doing the autumn recap and this is how i don't think we're quite in autumn yet i think today is like september 21st or something so we're close we're almost officially into autumn so this is how we're starting off all right boys let's get it nice looking good holy shit let's refresh it again though because now I want to see if, dude, I'm actually front page, dude. That's insane. Damn. Wow. All right, check this out. Hauke just sent me their latest Cheetah e-bike, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead, unbox this, try to assemble it right now, and let's give this thing a test rip. I'm very excited about this. So I'm sure some of y'all know Rudnick is also into e-bikes. He has a couple of his own. So I reached out to Hauke. They kindly sponsored me with this Cheetah e-bike. This thing's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to going on little e-bike rides because where we live has a lot of places to go ride an e-bike where it's legally a bike path. So it should be fun. We'll get Rudnick, Matt, and myself out on the e-bikes, dude. It should be a fun time. Also, they did say that they were sending me the dual battery version of this e-bike. So if it has super good range, I might actually try to daily this before the snow starts coming down. So we'll see how much money I can save on gas. All right, so here is a closer look at the fully assembled Hauke Cheetah. As you can see, they sent me the dual battery version, which is pretty cool. So here's a battery. And then here's another battery. They make this model where this is the only battery and it doesn't have this on it. So this is extra, but gets you way more range. So as you can see, it is a dual suspension e-bike. Check that out. We got suspension on the front and on the rear. And some noteworthy things they wanted me to talk about in this video is the rear bags. As you can see there on this side, I have the air pump, the tire air pump, which they have kindly supplied. So I'm thinking if I actually daily this thing on this side, I'll just put my lunch, dude. We'll put some steak on this side, maybe my gallon of water on this side. And then another thing they wanted me to mention was the rear view mirror add-on. So as you can see there, it's got like actual like motorcycle looking mirrors on it, which is pretty cool especially if you are attempting to daily it, I think those are pretty important so that you don't have to actually turn your head to look over your shoulder to see if there's a car behind you or whatever. So I believe this thing has a top speed of 28 miles per hour. We'll go on a little ride here in a second, but I'm super stoked on this thing. It was really easy to assemble. The only thing I had to do was the front tire was off. So I put the front tire on, or uh, 
let me rephrase that. The whole front wheel was off. It was one piece though. The tube, the tire, the rim, the disc brake were all assembled already. I just had to actually put the rim and the whole assembly into the fork, very easy. I had to put the front fender on, the front headlight on. I had to put the mirrors on and the bags on. Other than that, the bike was completely assembled. I didn't have to fiddle with the batteries, didn't have to fiddle with the controller, didn't have to mess with nothing. So yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's got a tail light on it. Check that out. That'll be nice for riding at night. But yeah, looks good. Super clean, pretty stylish for an e-bike. Dude, this thing is definitely a little adventure rig. I could see myself filling the bags and going literally like camping or something, or like at least like a nice little dinner picnic-y kind of vibe, something like that. But I think it looks super cool. Like it definitely has a nice look to it. So I'm stoked about this. Big shout out to Hauke for sending me the Cheetah dual battery model. Definitely a visually appealing bike especially the dual suspension a lot of these e-bikes that look like this are not dual suspension so that's a big plus i'm definitely excited to get out and ride this thing with chris and matt so yeah let's go ahead and take it for a nice little ride around the lake i apologize for the wind noise throttle only i felt bad blasting you guys with wind noise on that little ride but I went downhill and hit 29 miles per hour, throttle only. You do not need to pedal this e-bike. This is one of those ones where you could ride it throttle only. So I just checked the Hauke website and they are saying this e-bike with the dual battery version will get 65 to 85 miles per charge throttle only depending on rider weight. So I weigh about 170. I'm probably expecting to get at least 70 miles. Maybe I won't make it the full 85 miles on a single charge, but I think I'll be able to do at least 65 to 70. So we're definitely gonna have to test that at some point. Luckily, I only live about 20 miles from the shop. And dirty little secret hack, Rudnick doesn't have to pay for electricity at his shop. So my original plan was to actually daily ride the Hauke Cheetah dual battery to the shop, charge it for free off Rudnick's shop, and ride it home for free. So I don't know if this is the move, I'll let you guys know. Can an e-bike replace your car? So it's definitely one of those questions to consider, especially with these saddlebag things, dude, I'll be able to put like a little poncho or like a rain suit in there. And as you can see, it's not looking so good today, but I'm still out here riding it. A little police station trip, dude. Shout out to Max Peating Rods for hooking us up with another set of their coilovers and camber arms. Check these out. We got the beautiful camber arms for the E46 rear. We'll put these aside here. Oh, oh. Blooper. And here we have the front coilover for the E46. It looks good. This is different than the E36 because this has a... Uh, I don't even know, what's this called? So this is a little bit more Honda style, as you can see, it looks good. Beautiful presentation, super high quality parts. Check this out. And here is the rear setup. You guys know on the BMW, it uses a separate strut and a separate spring with the perch right there. And my personal E36 project, Stance Cruiser, I don't have the perch on it, I run my spring bare, just like that in the back for that nice tight fitment. All right, so this is my first true ride to the shop on the Hauke Cheetah. As you can see, I got my bags packed. I got the backpack that I'm wearing. In this, I have my overalls because I don't know what time I'm leaving the shop tonight. I'm preparing to ride home in the cold. On this side, I have my jacket. As you can see there, jacket. I have my lunch as well. In the backpack, I have a gallon of water. When I get to the shop, I'll open everything. I'll show you like, what does my setup look like 
when I'm trying to daily ride an e-bike. What am I carrying? I have tools on me. I got all of it, dude. Out here on the Cheetah dual battery. I got both chargers in the in this pouch, actually. So, yeah, one thing I forgot to show you guys is the headlight setup. Check that out. Headlight and tail light that I'm gonna have to like zip tie back but yeah you just hold this up button and then it turns the lights on and off but as you can see my commute from where I live to the shop has a bike path so I'm just riding the bike path all the way there dude this could not have worked out any better dude this shit is sick I highly recommend it if this fits your day-to-day -day life definitely give it a shot okay check this out we made it to the shop on the hauke cheetah dual battery and i'm pleasantly surprised so i just rode 20 miles and only went through like one eighth of the battery so i think that i honestly could ride this home and back multiple times on one charge i'm very satisfied with the battery life and the range didn't have to pedal it once granted the top speed is 28 29 miles an hour so you shouldn't be riding this thing on the side of a road where the speed limit is like 55 it gets a little sketchy but good thing in our area you know it's bright it's green new england they care about the citizens we have bike paths all over this area so yeah there it is we made it so we'll do a quick little what's in my bags kind of style thing here so on this side we got the overalls this these i'm gonna have to use at night in there i got the gloves and then uh the air pump and two chargers so like i was saying these are two separate batteries so you the charger works on both but if you want double the speed charging there's one charge hole right there and then the other charge hole is right there. So you could plug both batteries in at the same time and charge twice as fast. Super cool feature. So on this side, check this out. I got the Carhartt jacket, as you could see there. That's my nighttime loadout, Carhartt jacket, Dickies overalls. Um, and then I got lunch, check this out. I got a bunch of oranges. I got a can of chickpeas right here, bunch of oranges, I think like five, six, seven of those, a raw onion, and a pound and a quarter of beef, or a pound and a half of beef right there. And then in this backpack also, I have my gallon of waters in here, gallon of water, and all of the tools that the e-bike came with, check that out. And then maybe some headphones, some shit that doesn't really matter, Carmex, the little wrench thing that they supplied, the keys for the e-bike, these are to take the batteries off of the frame. You don't actually need these keys to ride. Yeah, there it is, Hauke Cheetah dual battery, absolutely does work. I just rode it from multiple towns away and got to Torrington as you can see look at that dude look at how much battery i used literally rode it from multiple towns away and only chooched one bar on the battery dude this thing the range is crazy so check out how hilarious this predicament is i rode the e-bike to the shop right i rode the e-bike there it is and chris doesn't have a car and Matt doesn't have a car right now because Matt brought the Saab to Dan's shop to have a new AN line welded onto the oil pan or the oil cooler, some shit like that. And Chris's Vespa is down and the Vino is stripped and the Suron needs a back wheel adjustment or the back wheel's gonna grenade. So I now have to literally go pick everyone up in the Civic, dude. The Civic is the only car that kind of runs right now. And it doesn't even have a battery. It doesn't have an operational battery. So, dude, like, what is going on, dude? This is hilarious. I can't believe this is happening right now.
fucking gem ski, dude. This thing is nice. Dude, not bad. The Civic is kinda nice, dude. Ruddy should daily this thing. Dude, this thing is mad smooth. It's a little drony. Little fucking EK hatch, dude. This thing kinda is cool. I wouldn't even want to turbo this or do a swap or nothing. I would just daily it. This thing is a nice little setup. All right, so here I figured I'd demonstrate the charging capabilities. So as you can see, I have the upper battery plugged in. You can see the charger right there, red light. And then the other charger right there, red light as well. And that one is plugged in to right there. So yeah. Really nice feature that you can plug dual chargers in and get twice the charging speed. Super handy feature. You out here in the Colorado, dude! Yeah! Giving her some highway driving. Real nice, hasn't had any issues. The belt's been good, temp's been good, everything's good. Brakes just needed a little pizzazz. All right, so in this video, we're gonna install the rear Max Peating Rods coilovers on Trevor's E46. You guys saw in the Ricer Miata video, he did all of the lead runs when we were driving the GS300. So the 46 deserves a nice brand new set of Max Peating Rods coilovers. And as you guys already know, the E36 Vert Ice Cream Getter Stance Cruiser, whatever you wanna call this contraption here, I am on the Max Peating Rods coilovers as well, and I am very pleased with them. As you can see, the rear fitted beautifully. I absolutely love how they ride. So yeah, let's go ahead and get these rears going. Let's inspect what you got going on in here. Ooh, purple ones. Max Peating Rods is better, dude. Ah. Lifesaver. Driveway boys. Yep, driveway boys. These ones look pretty gross not looking good so i like the ride height that i'm at and my plan is to just match them up side by side yeah so you're gonna run the perches i might i might not i advise you to run the perches i want to be low but my car has no perches so yeah, and you're no, low no it harm, looks good oh no Look. yeah no harm no foul good Yeah, that purple socks, dude. Shits yep. were clapped. They're really soft, too. I can compress the purple one pretty well. This one, can't even budge it. It looks good. So I, I lined the, this up and jacked it at the same time. And then I got this about a quarter inch away and then I spun it where it needed to go and jacked it up more. Lined it right up and Sean came in clutch and screwed yeah, it in. Looks good. Good to yeah, go dude. out here? Good to yeah, go. Let's get this other side in, man. Looks good. Keep going. There we go. Oh, I see it. All right. So just like that, the rear coilovers are installed. Trevor says super easy installation. All he needed was a 17, 18, and 13. So rears done, super easy. These are extremely heavy. Hey, you got that, that OEM tool though. Yeah, easy. So the rear coilovers are in, they feel great. Little test drive, we'll do the front install on the next video possibly, but dude, the 46 is nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this style of video. Make sure you're subscribed for the full autumn fall experience video on the Life OD channel. Don't forget to follow me on Kick. I'm doing IRL streams. I'm playing Car X Street. I'm patiently waiting for the new Black Ops 6. Waiting for GTA 6, waiting for the new Forza Drift update. So definitely check me out on Kick if y'all are gamers or y'all are loving the IRL shop streams. Big shout out to everyone who watches my Kick streams and is there 